Kourtney Kardashian called it truce with Kim. Listen, at the end of the day, they're sisters and no matter what they, you know, go through or, you know, whatever fights they have at the end of the day, they will always be sisters. After seeing this picture, you know, Kourtney posted up, I was like, probably they had a conversation basically to quell the bad blood or situation they had. And it was so beautiful to me because it actually shows how very mature, you know, Courtney is. She's not the type of person to be in much drama or feud. So for her to basically, you know, try to be loving and have a fruitful spirit is just, it means a lot. And I think definitely, I would say Courtney is more of a role model than Kim. Like, Courtney was not that type of person to be fighting, you know, in any bad blood or drama with anyone. So for her to remain the same, you know, classy happy person that she is i'm very happy for her on the other hand i don't think you know even though courtney is trying to be a good person i think at the end of the day you know kim is always going to be intimidated by someone's genuine uh feelings someone who is a leader someone is more for you know who's forgiven i don't think kim is that person who calls it truths even though she knows she was the one who basically caused the drama. So Courtney stepping out of the drama, being the leader, showing Kim that, hey, at the end of the day, we're sisters and it's okay to move past this. I don't think Kim wants to. As long as the drama makes Kim, uh, you know, more money, I think she's always going to go back to having disagreements as long as she makes money, as long as she profits from that. And I think it's very unforgiving that, you know, Kim basically profit off, you know, Courtney's marriage and all of that, because I think. Courtney's marriage was super important to her. I think no one should have messed with her marriage or, you know, the planning of the wedding and stuff. So I think Courtney is such a big person to forgive Kim and move on. And after all of that, you know, we all have one life to live. But I just think Kim is still a, you know, that B word. But I'm just going to say I blame Chris. I always do. Those are your kids. You grow them. And, you know, your children are a product of you. So if you grow them and they're this way, uh, who else to be blamed? Their dad is no longer here. So we're going to blame you, Chris, period. OK, after all these years, people are actually, you know, seeing Courtney and like, wow, Courtney is so beautiful. After so many, uh, basically disrespect that she got from Kim Kardashian with Kim saying that, you know, she's the least to look at, which was very distasteful because even though Courtney is the oldest, right, she's the most beautiful person I've ever seen out of all the Kardashians. I'm not going to discuss about Chloe, Kendall or Kylie. I'm just going to really focus on. Courtney and how beautiful she is I don't think Courtney has Botox in her face I think you know Kim does well Kim did admit of getting Botox in her face but I'm just saying it all it all boils down to being so jealous and envious that's what I think why all of the drama happened between Courtney and Kim okay and many persons are like you know what Courtney doesn't work and that what that's what pisses off you know Kim but the, the truth is honey I don't think it's because of Courtney lack of interaction on social media and being out there I think Courtney's just reserved more happy you know it kind of intimidates Kim because many persons are saying you know what Kim is not genuinely happy she's does she's just doing all these publicity stunts pretending as if she is pretending as if she has this happy materialistic life that she wanted mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't think so because you divorcing Kanye, Kanye moving on so quickly, getting remarried to Bianca since sorry, you could never be happy, honey. That's just my opinion. And you know, with Courtney marrying to Travis Barker, living a happy life, focusing on kids, focusing on her brand, you know, stepping out so much more, allowing persons to see how beautiful she is, that does pisses off Kim. 
to be honest. And if she took, listen, guys, if y'all don't remember how Kim took that chance from Kendall Jenner, you know, modeling the Victoria's Secret runway show, Kim has been a very jealous human being, jealous of her sister, her husband, her friends, everybody, okay? Because this girl feels like uh, she's the queen and she should always be on top. And, no, and everyone, by the way, should be below her or beneath her, which is not the case anymore, okay? Because Courtney is stepping out and i'm so proud and i'm also very happy for her courtney has had hell uh you know with scott disick and you know so many cheating rumors and with, with scott cheating on her so i think i'm happy for courtney at this point i'm also happy that she is so forgiven you know she moved on you know she's very content happy in the position that she is in now in her life no, oh, and I emphasize on her Lemmy brand. It has been doing so well. And kudos to Courtney stepping up, being an entrepreneur. Oh, girl, you go. Because, listen, if y'all don't know what Lemmy is, y'all should go on Courtney's, you know, Instagram and check that out. But let me know what y'all think about Courtney, you know, forgiving Kim, trying to move on. However, I think Kim is still stuck in her way. And... It, it might sound weird, but I think Kim is definitely going to seek some revenge out of this because, you know, Courtney's stepping out to be the good person here. But let me know what you guys think down below in that comment section with Courtney forgiving Kim and just calling it a day. Let me know what y'all think and see y'all next time. Bye, guys.